All right, I'm going to try something new here. We're going to do a little bit of a time capsule sketchbook tour. Imagine the year is 2003. I am not Ashley R. Villers. I'm Ashley R. Pucci. And I am in Art 3 at the time. In 2003, so 21 years ago, I am 17 years old. Uh, I am just about everything I think you'd imagine a teenage version of me to be. I'm in youth group. I am going on vacation. I'm on the JV tennis team. And I am going to Liz Fair concerts with my friends. When I graduate in 2004, uh, the senior superlatives, I was named most artistic girl. You can see right there. Most artistic. Uh, I was also working on uh, cover illustrations for both the high school newspaper and programs for football games. All through high school too, I was on the tech crew and I painted all of the sets and scenes for the theater club. Like I said, this sketchbook started in 2003, it probably ended about 2004 upon graduation, meaning it was for art three class, art four class, and AP art. It's one of those hardbound sketchbooks and I collaged the cover with magazine pieces and Mod Podge. All right, so first page here, inside cover. I was an avid doodler. I would fill pages, notes, margins of pages with just Sharpie doodles all the time. I'd also um, fill the sketchbook up with all kinds of lyrics. Whenever I found a song that I enjoyed, I would just write down lyrics that resonated with me. So there is everything from Weezer, White Stripes, Blind Melon, Bright Eyes, Breeders, Liz Fair, it's all here. A lot of these drawings you'll see are actually sketchbook homework assignments. So for example, this was a drawing assignment where I had to put things under a piece of fabric. I can't remember if these were all homework assignments, but a lot of drawings from observation. This is some hand drawings and my dog, Sissy. Also, this would have been 2003. So in 2001, uh, September 11th happened. This was some sort of memorial or monument to the September 11th attacks. I don't really remember the assignment that clearly. More drawings from observation. My cat at the time, his name was Mocha. Um, so yeah, this is just a collage of observation drawings. I was enrolled in a literature class, a sci-fi literature class. So not that I remember it all that well, but based on the stuff that is on this page, like Back to the Future and Langoliers and Twin Paradox, I'm going to assume that these were some notes that I was taking at the time. Instead of actually writing real notes, I drew my notes. Couldn't tell you what any of it means now though. Probably another assignment where I had to create an invention. More observation drawings. This was probably study hall, I'm guessing. A before and after drawing. More kind of doodle, cartoony concepts. At one point in time, I wanted to get this as a tattoo. 
Uh, haven't done that yet, though, and probably will not. Character, cartoony sketch. The corner of my bedroom in 2003. This was an assignment where we had to design a logo for ourselves. So I actually really think this is kind of cute. It's my, you know, name and middle name. And I wrote, I'm going to put this on all my little memos when I'm 68 years old and I own my own little art shop and give little kids or give lessons to little kids. It's sketchy and artsy. <laughs> I actually really like the paintbrush here. Another assignment where I took a stuffed animal and wrapped it in Christmas lights. Probably a value study. Don't know how effective it is. Some more uh, lyrics. These are uh, Smashing Pumpkin lyrics and an illustration of an elf and Dorothy with some Elton John lyrics. I was really fascinated and you'll see this repeat these kind of repeating patterns uh you might call them doodle bombs but this was inspired by indian fabric and like henna designs i was really really into really intricate kind of ornate designs some underwater aquarium sketching i think this was probably just imagination i don't think from observation more stuff that was clearly inspired by uh, my science fiction and fantasy literature class. I've got, it's very uh, supernatural and, uh, you know, with the Raelians, that was definitely science fiction inspired. More animal drawings, probably from magazines, because at the time we didn't have smartphones to pull up images. <laughs> You can see here me playing around with more patterns, more design. Not really any sort of goal, but just filling page. Uh, do you want to be forever young? There's some more song lyrics hidden in there. These are some early phase sketches from a project, a clay project that we did in class more doodles, more sketches. There had been a photo here, a Polaroid photo, but at some point I cut it out. Watercolored color pencils were something I really enjoyed using in the sketchbook. Like I said earlier, I was in on the tennis team, so still life of my tennis racket and supplies, tennis balls and bag. This is kind of cool because I started playing around with this cutout where you could see the art through the page. This is something I play around with quite a bit in college and even some of my artwork outside of college and schooling. Um, so I like the idea of cutouts and being able to see two types of art at one time. So this is kind of neat just because it's a really early concept of that, I think. More song lyrics. I forget um, this. I forget what this one is. Dashboard of the car. You know, that's important to teenagers, right? <laughs> more doodles, more patterns, more just fun little sketches. Ozzy, um, his reality show was probably really big at the time. More song lyrics, that coconut song. I don't know. This is, again, just thoughts and ideas the tree that was in my yard growing up this was definitely a drawing assignment oh look 20 out of 20 did a good job this was the view from my front porch in my childhood home didn't do as well on that one I only got 18 out of 20 more doodles Sally a bunny some fish this is really making me want to pull out the watercolor pencils. That's kind of cool. An uh, elf guy? I'm not sure if he was for anything in particular or from anything in particular. This is another just 
page of doodles. I am really fascinated by words. I like how words sound. So these are some good sounding words, uh, you know, cathartic, regency, dedication, urgent, facade, versatile. <laughs> and then it says Kentucky and boredom, which I don't know are necessarily good words, but I don't know why or when or how I was drawing this, but it's there. I also don't know what that phone number is. Please don't call it. I also really got into kind of photorealism and graphite portraits around this time. So this is, I think, uh, Elizabeth Shue and Angelina Jolie. little sketch that I taped in at some sort of character design. And then this was drawn on notebook paper in study hall. A little Edvard Munch uh, inspiration there, I think. More just unfinished concept -y doodles. I don't know. Some portraits from Observation. Really poor portrait of Courtney Love, a little bit distorted. I uh, was really bad at finishing or filling all sketchbook. I don't think I've ever done it. Here's a whole bunch of white pages. And I happen to know that I at some point flipped this sketchbook upside down and started working in the back for whatever reason. So let's uh, just jump ahead. Where's it at? Okay, so I know that this was a drawing um, while I was on an airplane. And the reason I know this is because this page is from a vacation I went on in December of 2003. This is more some observation from the cruise ship. Um, so that means this page was on um, the airplane. So this is Chase Pucci artwork. That's my brother drew on that page while I was sitting next to him drawing on this page. So I wrote, I know it was airplane because I wrote turbulence and uh, help, I'm bored. So this was an airplane doodle page with me and my brother. Then I went on, you know, vacation and uh, I am pretty certain that this was a magazine cover. I think this is Mandy Moore on the cover of Cosmopolitan. And I was drawing that from the magazine that I was also reading on that trip. Don't ask me how I remember, but I remember. Um, more kind of doodle with some song lyrics from Tegan and Sarah. This is uh, my number about the koala bear. And um, I think I'm going to put together a Spotify playlist since there's so many song lyrics. I'm going to put a Spotify playlist together of all the music I was listening to in 2003. This is another like combo page where um, I drew myself and my friend Laura drew herself because I think that what originally happened was Brett drew himself, uh, Brett in college. And then I said, Ashley mocking Brett in college. And then, um, you know, where's your other ear, Brett? And then Laura uh, drew Laura mocking Ashley mocking Brett in college. So I know this is art for because I remember that class. Uh, pirate illustration. I'm not quite sure what or why, but I'm sure the Pirates of the Caribbean was very popular around that time because I was also a big Johnny Depp fan. Oh, here. So I drew upside down. I don't know why. I don't know what this is for. It's kind of a cool thing with clocks um, and I wrote on the back make time for music bubble baths old movies hugs and kisses good friends laughing breathing and seeing uh, and then this quote time is the most valuable thing we can spend by Theophrastus three of Theophrastus we're gonna say is his name more doodles and more song lyrics we've got Put it on when I get lonely. That's, I think, Pixies. Uh, the Thoughts of a Fool of, is kind of careless. That's Led Zeppelin, Strawberry Fields Forever, Beatles. Got a Kill Bill quote with some scissors and a teacup and some more doodles and faces. 
I was a big Johnny Depp fan. So I drew those on another piece of paper and just taped them. I also was way into fish, giraffes, birds, some cute stuff here. I, I mean, I like it. I wish I'd kind of, I wish I'd remember more, you know, after 21 years, what some of those are. So yeah, um, this is my sketchbook. Thanks for coming along. Um, I think that this has definitely inspired me to want to keep doing more of these. And I am going to put all of these song lyrics into a Spotify playlist. I will put it in the description. So if you are want to have an immersive experience and play that music while you do the tour of my sketchbook, it'll be there for you. Thanks for coming along with me. Let's make it a point to draw on your sketchbook today. And I will also draw on my sketchbook because I really want to have a time capsule of 2024. Anyways, thank you so much. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you aren't already. And I'll see you next time.